Hey guys, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed 360 pictures into your Adobe Muse website. So I'm going to use this website called 360player.io. So you have to sign up and once you sign up, you can visit your dashboard. And here you have the upload requirements. So if you visit their help section, you will find some resources. Some of them are paid, others are free. So for example, Flickr and Photopin are for free. So if you want to embed these kind of pictures, you can else get a camera and you know do the pictures on your own, or you can get free resources or you can pay for it. So we've got a lot of resources online. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use a free resource here in Flickr and here in Photopin. The system is exactly the same. So you just have to choose the picture you want. So for example, let's get this one over here. Okay, so we can see the picture. And what we have to do is just download it. And you can change the size. So I'm gonna choose the original size or you can actually view all sizes. So I think this one is enough. Okay, so download is done, and I'm going to choose another one from Photopin. You guys see it's basically the same, so you just have to enter, get into the picture that you want. I'm going to here to get photo. And here you can choose the size that you want, so I'm going to download this one here, the biggest. The original size. Okay, so I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to go back to my dashboard here in 360 player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my pictures here. So I know my pictures are downloaded here. So I'm going to choose them, select them, and drag them over here. So I upload them. Okay, so once uploaded, I'm going to click over one of them. So I'm going to choose this one over here. Okay, so now that is loading, so I'm going to scroll down and you have here a lot of information just in case you want to share your, your photo with the rest of the community. But what's interesting is that this is the integration code, so this is what you have to copy. So I'm going to copy this, so I'm going to Muse and I'm going to Object, Insert HTML and I'm going to paste the code here and click on OK. So I'm going to move this back to the center and I'm going to preview this so you guys see how it looks. Okay, so now it's done. We can move around and we can click and drag to see all the photo. Great. Great, so now I'm going to show you a little trick not sure if you happen to notice when I'm going to edit the HTML code. So I'm going to right click and click on HTML code. So I'm not sure if you notice that here in the code you can see the width and the height and they have some standard values. So you can actually edit this because you cannot set this to the browser's width. It's not going to look good because it's going to still be small because it has a fixed size. You see, so what you can do is you can right click and click on edit HTML and you can enter the values that you want. So let's say, uh, let's adapt this to a width of, mm, let's say, 1000 and let's say the height is 700. So let's click on OK. So I'm going to center this now. It might take a while to preview, but don't worry about it. So now let's preview it on the side. It still looks smaller than the browser because this is obviously wider than 1000 pixels. But if you want to adjust it, guys, you just have to adjust the code and set the values that you want. Okay. 
So no matter if you're using Photopin or you're using Flickr, any free resource or paid resource, it will actually work the same. So you have to get the code and you just have to paste it into Muse and that's it. So hope you guys liked the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.